feel like some people don't understand that uh, that you could really do things for other people. You know, like like it's not about being the hero. More like proving to yourself that you're not a villain. But in doing so, saving the world. You know? Like saving your community, right? You know, it'd be crazy if people realize that the reason that you're doing things is not even for you. It was for them, you know? To not even rest necessarily bring joy to you, which you do in the process, but to bring them joy. To bring them happiness, you know? To bring them enlightenment. Like a different option, a different choice. My goal is to give you life. To let you breathe. Let you understand that things aren't just as bad as you think that they are. <clears throat> And even when they are, it's always okay to have a laugh about it. Oh, wait, shit. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. What's up? Hey, before we start, make sure that you click the like button. Make sure that you're subscribed for alerts down there. It's at the bottom, like, whatever corner. It's always opposite to me. I don't even know. I have to yeah, just subscribe like this video for me really help me out um you're gonna see a lot of content in these next couple videos um and uh just show me support help me out it would mean a lot to me one like means nothing to you to me it really helps it boosts the algorithms and it pretty much shows it as suggestions to other people random people right and that's my friend i'd really appreciate it if you would just like this video so go ahead let's get started so contrary to south carolina in Seattle, most restaurants aren't open yet. Like you can't physically go inside. So you still have to order online and pretty much they'll bring out whatever you want, but you can either order online or call. The people are in the restaurant, right? So they are there making beautiful, amazing waffles. Look at those beautiful waffles. Oh, he's just adding the good stuff on there. And here in Seattle, you got different kinds of foods too, man. Like really funky foods belgian street waffles you know and they add like condiments on top of them i ordered the brulee banana i think it's like caramel and da 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 something else on top of it there you go i guess pretty sure it's closed yeah hi my good little waffle food wonderful Oh, thank you so much. Lovely. So guys, we just got some food from Sweet Iron Waffle. Let's try it out. Brulee banana waffle. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah. I've been trying to find balance. Baby girl, I know love and me's a challenge. Trying to even out the crazy with the talent. Never pray for a baby, you just... Oh my God, dude. First bite was smacking. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. I forgot Sea Town food changed your life. I swear the stuff up here is just different, dude. It's just different. Yeah? Like Coochie Man. Coochie Man. It's just different. Go here, Seattle. They different. Mmm. You know, sometimes people will never understand or learn to appreciate the things that you do for them or the reason why you're doing things. And I mean, as a community as a whole, you know? It's actually a new pier. I wasn't here whenever they built Pier 62. Welcome to Pier 62, everybody. Ta-da! Make a say, ooh, and the she's still pumping. I wish I worried about something. I've been trying to find balance. Baby girl, I know loving me's a challenge. Trying to even out the crazy with the talent. Never it's all so gorgeous. Look, you can go down there. Look at this. <laughs> Let the beat drop. Don't, 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 don't. Never pray for a baby, it just happened. And I know that's sunny. No, this looks average, dude, but even just this. Walking out over here, or walking out on the pier here, 
This is actually where I used to walk like, all the time, like, all the time, all the time. So it just brings back good memories. Like when I first came here, a lot of the people showed me the pier area because there's a lot of like tourism that goes down over here. We have ferries that basically park up on this left side of, of whatever this is right here because this is Seattle. So there's always something under construction, literally. There's been something under construction forever. This is main Seattle city right here. Like all this, you know, all this incantation, all this good stuff. This is the pier area and uh, the pier pretty much it's the pier, you know what I mean? But there's something so special about this pier specifically. Um, I think there's a uh, Ivers fish and Ivers, something like that. That place is freaking good. But everything that's down here, it's amazing, honestly. Just a reminder, practice safe social distancing. For real, if I didn't show you the slums either, bro, this right here. This is Hobo, Hobo Happy Hour. You know what I'm saying? Right here. This is where I used to come and do it. Hello Hobos would just be out right here at the 7-Eleven. This famous 7-Eleven right here, man. Late at night, people coming from the club behind me. There's a big club over there. This out here is really known. I wanted to show you. No money, no booze, no valuables, baby. It's called Biscuit Bitch. It's like a really well-known spot in the city. A little breakfast place. You can do brunch, I guess, too. And um, were you ever stalked out of the tiles where you see something? going to happen to girls you like fuck you off for no reason oh yeah <laughs> me too buddy but no it's it's a nice place to come but this shit's closed it's not open right now no bueno no open oh yeah but this is my bitty basically i'm gonna show you guys one of my spots all right one of my favorite spots that i used to come to Whenever like times were stressed out or anything like that, you got okay, this is the story, it's fine in Seattle. I came to Seattle when I was like, I was just heartbroken, some some guy looking for a new start, new beginning, da da da. Seattle provided all those things and more for me. Seattle Seattle partially made me and along with myself made me the man who I am now because it enforced me to make decisions that I had to make when the time came by myself and I had to make several decisions. And one of those decisions was pretty much just living with yourself and like, I don't know, being able to rock by yourself, but it's hard. You gotta understand like, it's really, it's hard to just be by yourself and to just do everything by yourself and to like learn a new life, new new customs, new traditions, new culture, new people. Y'all think it's very easy, but try it, try it. When I needed nature the most, when I needed beauty the most, when I needed love the most, Seattle provided that for me. Seattle was my safe haven. Anytime that I had a problem when I was down, which was kind of almost all the time, these views cure that for me. And you can just breathe this fresh air here and even just the air, man, I'm telling you, it's fresh. Seattle is fresh. Everything that's going on right now and like they're talking about the air being bad and stuff like that, but not baby. I'm sorry, but I gotta breathe in that good piranha, baby. Oh, if it kills me, it's gonna have to kill me. I'm gonna die one day, you know, but you think I'm gonna give this up? Like, do you see what I mean? This is why I do what I do, because I wanna live a life like this. I wanna do things like this till I die, <laughs> because it makes me feel good. It is so good to do something like this. And I was the one that did it. I did it. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Someone tell me why she's so cold. so cold Live lavish, we laughing Cause we done been through hell up where it snows She my rider, my Hollywood vibe And I don't wanna let her go The famous gum wall This is where everybody comes It's like a nice little attraction People love it People take pictures really historical or known at least as an attraction in Seattle. Let's get it. Where all you see is nothing but gum. 
There gotta be COVID around here somewhere. There's just so much of it everywhere. Everywhere you go, it just makes you just wanna say. That's a lot of gum. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? Few moments later. There's like 30 white ones in there. One eternity later. What's that one? No, no. That's all dirty. Uh, that's kind of crusty. This one looks kind of fresh. That looks like a booger. It definitely was like right there somewhere though. Sweet. See you guys. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do, baby. Tour through my city. You never know when you're gonna go. But when I die, make sure they put hey, diamonds all over my coffin. I love it when she call me Austin. Hit the bank like every so often. Baby stay wet like a dolphin Cut different weed will bring the same oxygen Got out my bag, bring the boxes in uh, Merchandise coming real soon, my friend I'm too busy buying these Louboutins hey, Swerving through the city This is good for me Never been one to this on any other place, but this is exactly why I mean that I love cities. Because even though this isn't the street, like even the main streets, these are just like outskirts streets. You see those other people in the distance? They just walk because that's just kind of that's how they're built. Um, here's a video with me and the space needle in the back. See this little thing? Bye, right, mommy. Bye, mommy. <laughs> I love you, mommy. <laughs> Especially during these times, it's much more fun, I suppose, to just to see people out. You know, see people moving around, see that somebody else is doing something else. In the south, like here we have cars, but in the south there's all of these cars. It's just, I don't like to see that, you know? If you stuck around this long, I want to say thank you because you're a real one. Hang around a little bit more, I got some real stuff for you coming up right now. I only make these because I've been in the city before having the same challenge that I'm speaking to you guys before. Yeah, that's right. I had feelings after a breakup. There's things that I wanna say I love you. I miss you. You wanna say a lot of things, I know. But ultimately what you feel is you hope that they believe in you. What you hope is that you truly hope that they believe in you. Like they said that they did. Like they said that they did. Because the only reason you're making it is because of them. It's definitely your work and your ethic. But a big part of that comes from the drive you get from them. Not in a good or bad way. I can't explain it, but you know. I had this one thing where I used to tell this girl, I know we're meant to be together, but we're not meant to be together right now. And I always knew that success is a hard route, right? And there's sacrifices. But I used to tell her that I would make it one day. And the day that I left, I said, but you will be the reason why. Basically, that video wasn't to get any of you guys in your feelings. It's so that you understand that you can't go about life living in someone else's shadow and making your goals and your achievements because of someone else. Do it because of you. And that's what I had to learn. That's what the difference was between the first time I was in the city to this time. Oh yeah, and then I decided to finish the Crazy Seattle Adventures with a cute little date with my dear friend Cassie. Or Cass, as I like to call her. And uh, there you have it, folks. What'll be the next destination? I have no idea. What'll be the next lesson? Who the hell cares? The point is, who the hell cares? Anything can happen on the Day in the Life Productions. Anything can happen when you're watching The Breeze Chronicles. That's what this is about. Making a story where no story should have been made. Where, where, where people wouldn't think about making a story, we make a story. Because that's just what life is about. If every day you lived it like a movie, think about how much happier you would really be. And that's what I teach you here. Go on, learn up. Riding and I'm chilling like a villain in a whip, it got no ceiling, I just gotta take it off. Try me at the slimy, acting grimy, have them saying, please don't find me when it's time to pay the bus. 
bottle off the bottle, got a model off Moscato at my Saho, I just had to break it off. I don't rap a bottle unless I got them, got a lot, I'm trying to hate them, but I gotta shake them off. I got lots of bitches, that's my downfall. Bitch, I run my city like the town hall. Rappers in my shadows, I'm in and out of hoes like I'm a groundhog. They could get the message with the sound up, baby, I'm a boss. Love boy, tell your baby, go get lost I won't eat that pussy less it tastes like boss Like I got it out the glass Remember I got kicked up out the class I should pull up on that teacher